Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Brentwood, located in Williamson County, Tennessee, on March 25th, 1863. Confederate Command sent General Nathan Bedford Forrest along with a full cavalry division of 2,100 men to capture Brentwood at Tennessee. A rail station located on the Nashville and Decatur Railroad. In their way was a U.S. Lieutenant Colonel Edward Bloodgood and his force comprised of 400 men. On March 24th, as they arrived, General Forrest ordered Confederate Colonel James W. Starnes to rip apart the railroad tracks and destroy the telegraph outside of town. In addition, he wanted the unit to destroy the stockade and cut off Bloodgood's possible retreat. This way, they would be able to capture the entire Union force without them raising alarm and getting reinforcements. On March 25th, Forrest rode up to Bloodgood's position early in the morning. Bloodgood had received word of the incoming attack and had been desperately attempting to telegraph back to headquarters for reinforcements and to warn them. Realizing he was cut off, Bloodgood agreed to a truce with Forrest. Forrest demanded Bloodgood surrender. Bloodgood refused to surrender, so General Forrest summoned in his artillery. Within one hour of the artillery's arrival, before the Confederates could completely set it up, Bloodgood realized his position and surrendered the station and his men to Forrest. Estimated losses were 305 Union soldiers killed, wounded, missing, and captured, while the Confederates suffered six soldiers killed, wounded, missing, or captured. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.